huge potential debut for WWE NXT tonight. It sounds like it is happening. We're going to talk about that. Plus, AEW on Fox Sports 1. Massive update and so much more. It's coming up right here on The Ango Show. Oh, 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 oh yes. All right, guys, don't forget, we go live every day, Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. This is becoming one of the coolest things that I've done on the channel. We're on week two. The live streams are incredible. We talk about Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, pay-per-views, fantasy booking, and most importantly, this is chat-driven, which means it's community-driven. If you're not there, I have nobody to interact with. So make sure you guys pull up Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. Okay, let's talk about this. WWE Saturday night's main event. This is a huge update. WWE is not joking around. It is actually happening, and the name is returning because WWE is, in fact, getting the trademark for the event. The company filed for Saturday night's main event on September 9th under the clothing classification with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Clothing, namely tops, shirts, jackets, sweatshirts, hoodies, outerwear, namely coats, bottoms, pants, shorts, underwear. The list goes on. WWE is bringing back Saturday night's main event. Nobody really knew for sure if this was the name that WWE would be doing for its primetime special with NBC. Uh, it was first reported by WrestleVotes. We talked about it a couple days ago, and my opinion remains the same. I'm super excited about this event. I think WWE is going to do something really incredible here, but... But, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I got something to say. It is really important that WWE treats these specials like a PLE, right? We talk about how these pay-per-views have five or six matches on the card. We talk about how WWE then decides to save some of the matches that are left off of the card for Raw or SmackDown. I want WWE to go above and beyond. It's important that WWE goes above and beyond. I don't want just standard wrestling matches. I want WWE to make this feel like a must-see event, especially because Saturday nights are really, you know, chaotic. Sometimes you got UFC. Sometimes you got boxing. You got AEW Collision. You got a lot happening. WWE should be trying to achieve the most amount of viewership here, and the way to do that is by bringing marquee matches to the card. So that means championship matches. That means big feuds. I'm talking stipulation matches. I'm talking a lot of specialty. I want WWE to do this in a big way because we are going to get four of them per year. And I think for WWE to do these primetime specials is a great thing. But if you don't make them special and if you don't make them unique, then clearly it's just extra content. And we don't need extra content. We have all the wrestling in the world. So if you can't make this feel special, it's probably not going to be special. And therefore, people will not tune in. I'm not trying to compare this to Battle of the Belts, but we saw AEW do Battle of the Belts every so often, and it's just basically a waste of time. All I'm suggesting is that WWE doesn't do the same. Okay, guys, let's talk about AEW on Fox Sports 1. Uh, for some reason, a lot of people on Twitter love stealing the graphic that I made for the... Um, you know, the, 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 they love stealing the graphic I made for AEW Shockwave. You guys saw it was on my thumbnail the other day. People are ripping the graphic. They're talking about it. They're making money off of it. Everybody's talking about AEW Shockwave. Now, apparently what is happening here is that Ibu from WrestlePurist, he was talking about this on the Raw Review, but essentially the rumor going around the AEW like roster and people talking backstage is essentially that AEW shockwave will be a one hour show on Fox sports one. Now let's talk about this Fox sports one. Cool. It's not, you know, it's not primetime TV. It's not, it's not channel two, but this is still a great thing, right? This is a good thing for AEW. I am going to be so honest here. This might ruffle some feathers, but if shockwave is a taped show and AEW gets rid of rampage, I think that sucks, okay? I think that sucks. I don't want to see another pre-taped show that's basically just a name change for AEW. What are you going to do to make Shockwave feel different from Collision and Rampage and Dynamite? And I swear this is where people are going to get a little bit more upset with me, but this is where AEW has failed in the last two years. A lot of their shows are lacking its identity, and I feel like you can throw all the great matches that you want, but these shows don't have an identity, and I want Shockwave not to be special for the first six episodes like Collision was. I want it to be special for the entire time that they're on Fox. And the thing is, I'm so excited about them getting a TV deal with Fox, 
But if this is just a replacement for Rampage, I feel like that is a step backwards and not a step forward. Obviously, I am judging this ahead of time, and so I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to be a normal guy and say, listen, time will tell, but with the word going around that Rampage will probably not be around, this will probably take the Rampage time slot, and the idea that it's more than likely going to be taped, I think that is problematic. That's not a good sign. That doesn't mean it is bad, but obviously time will tell and see. we'll see how everything goes. But yes, it is a good thing for Fox to bring in AEW. And I don't care what anybody says, the tribalism exists. I understand it exists, but it's not like Fox lost WWE and then immediately was like, let's go get AEW. Fox and many other TV partners, they want pro wrestling. And what happens is that every wrestling company offers something different and something unique and advertisers are going to be doing their thing. And we all know this is how it works. TV advertisers are obviously going to pay a lot less for AEW than they would for WWE. This is probably why AEW is not going to get five billion dollars to you know from fox right like there's going to be different components to the way this all works and i think that is completely fine i just think it's a good thing when you see major tv networks saying we want wrestling that is a good thing and obviously we know fox has something going on with venue sports we know that they're pushing to be maybe this could open more doors for aew but of course i am excited because anytime a major tv partner wants wrestling you should be happy about it and that brings us to our final topic. This is a spoiler. I am repeating, this is a spoiler, and I will give you four seconds to click off if you don't want to watch it. Okay, tonight on NXT, it appears that Alexander Hammerstone will be making his WWE debut. Uh, it sounds like uh, WWE's got something cooking. Maybe you guys saw the NXT Anonymous video that surfaced on social media with Tony D'Angelo talking to a very big person. Obviously, we know Tony D'Angelo's in the middle of a feud with Oba Femi. He needs somebody a little bit bigger to go up against him. Some people thought that this might be Omas. Some people were thinking this might be Moose. There is no confirmation that it is, in fact, Alexander Hammerstone. Maybe Alex Hammerstone could be doing something else. But the report is simple. Fightful Select has come out and reported that TNA wrestler Alexander Hammerstone is currently at the WWE Performance Center. WWE has plans for a mystery opponent. And the bout was obviously set up via a shared video from NXT Anonymous. Uh, with that being said, they did not confirm 100% that it is Alex Hammerstone. But let's be very clear. It's probably Alex Hammerstone. But the reality is Alex Hammerstone is at the Performance Center. He's going to be utilized. This makes the most sense based on what WWE has teased. This is a great thing for WWE and TNA's partnership. Hammerstone was a beast in MLW. He's a beast in TNA. And him going head-to-head -head with Obafemi is absolutely awesome. This is the kind of stuff that you want to see from a partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Ango Show.